John chapter 16, John chapter 16. These things have I spoken unto you. This is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking to his disciples. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues, yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth good God's service. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you that when the time shall come ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. In other words, he was going to go back to heaven where he came from. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. Having been crucified upon the cross, he, he was going to be crucified upon the cross later on. But he was telling them, look, I've come down from heaven and I'm going back to heaven to my father. And he's saying these words, but these things have I told you that when the time... Uh, no, I'll go back to verse 3. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them, and these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, whither goest thou? In other words, where art thou going? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Do you realize the worst sin you could ever commit is not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ? He's the one that wants to save you this hour, my friend. Why don't you come to him? I don't know how many times you've heard this message of salvation before, but you need to respond to the call of God. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And sin, righteousness, and judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father. You see, you and I need the righteousness of God to enter into heaven. We cannot be in heaven apart from the righteousness of God being given unto us through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to come to Christ this hour, my friend. If you have not come to Christ, your soul will never, ever be saved. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes, uh, righteousness, because I go to my Father, and you see me no more, of judgment, because the prince of this world is cast out. That is, the devil is about to be cast out. He's the prince of the world, prince of this world. You know, we need to understand we are under the bondage of the devil. We are under the bondage of and slavery of sin, my friend. You need to come out from that slavery. You need to be liberated. Be free from the burden of sin. Be free from the penalty of sin. From the power of sin. And eventually from the presence of sin. Praise the Lord. For the coming again of the Lord Jesus Christ into the air. To take the Christians to be forever with himself. I wonder, will you be caught up to meet the Lord in the air? And so, so shall we ever be with the Lord. What about you? Will you be left behind to go through the tribulation period upon this earth? The seven year tribulation period, the last three and a half years, is called the Great Tribulation. 
There's no need to go into that terrible time of judgment and also be cast into hell on the lake of fire. You see, there's coming a time when we die. And at the moment of death, we're either going to be in heaven through faith in Christ or we're going to be down in hell. And then eventually, if we don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, or fire and sulfur, where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity. Why? Because you have rejected the Son of God. Have you rejected the Son of God up to this point in your life? You need to come to Christ, my friend. I just got a nod from a fellow over here driving past. He's obviously rejected the Son of God into the, unto this time of his life. But he needs to come to Christ the same as you do. You need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend, and become a child of God to have forgiveness for your sins. Through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who loved us enough to die upon the cross. He was crucified for you and for me. In whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, that is, the Holy Spirit shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, and therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. A little while and ye shall not see me. And again a little while and ye shall see me because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again a little while, and ye shall see me. And because I go to the Father. They said therefore, What is this that he saith? A little while, we cannot tell what he saith. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said, A little while, and ye shall not see me? And again, A little while, and ye shall see me? Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, That ye shall weep and lament, But the world shall rejoice, And ye shall be sorrowful, But your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow because her hour is come. In other words, when she has labor pains for uh, delivering a child. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. That day you shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that, that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. In other words, he's left heaven's glory, came down to this sin-cursed earth. Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. So after the crucifixion of Christ, he was going to return back to his Father in heaven, from 
from whence he came, from where he came. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverbs. Now we are sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou camest forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, it is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. That is, at the time of his crucifixion, his betrayal and his crucifixion. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And the Lord Jesus Christ is really the only one who did overcome the world. Why? Because he's God. God manifest in the flesh. God in a body. God came down, left heaven's glory, to come down to this sin-cursed earth and live the perfect life upon earth that you and I could never, ever live. And then he died the sacrificial death upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scripture. You wonder, is your soul saved? In other words, are you on your way to heaven? Or are you still on that broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? God wants you to be with him in heaven. But the only way we could be there is through the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to put your faith in Christ to be in heaven, my friend. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ wants to be your saviour this hour. He wants to take your sins away. He wants to wash your sins away in his own most precious, sinless blood, my friend. Will you come to Christ this Arvo? You've got to come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Do you have that peace, that eternal peace that can only come through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? Make a wise choice, this hour, my friend. Get right with God by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.